This is the Portuguese island of Madeira. A subtropical island filled with luscious terraces populated with red roof houses, tall peaks that sit above the clouds, and immense cliff sides that plunge straight into the North Atlantic Ocean. To kick off our Madeira adventures, we headed to the westernmost point of the island to trek the red volcanic terrain of the San Lorenzo Peninsula. You're at, what is it pronounced? Sao Lorenzo. Sao Lorenzo, which is a really beautiful landscape. We're trying to get there right before sunrise. We also forgot the microphone, so hopefully the wind is okay if I'm picking it up on this camera. Because somebody over here forgot to bring it, but that's okay. Hopefully everything will go well. We're super excited to see this spot. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Sorry I'm a little out of breath. It's definitely a bit of a hike to get to this viewpoint. Hopefully, uh, yeah, sunrise will be great this morning. Right now we have to hike from here all the way up to there. Because we believe you're going to get a really beautiful vantage point of this entire area. I will admit though, it's quite steep, so I'll give you that. This viewpoint marked by a white rectangular structure was 100% worth the climb up. There didn't seem to be a defined trail and it's a bit of a scrambling detour off the main hiking path so be extra cautious and wear adequate hiking footwear if you decide to head up. From this vista our line of sight was completely unobstructed. 360 degree views all around with a lookout of the nearby town, jaw dropping red and black cliffs and jagged basalt columns and the entire length of the San Lorenzo dragon's tail emerging out of the water. Sitting on this cliff's edge was incredibly humbling and we could stay here for hours, but it was time for us to make our way down and further along the trail. The Vereda de Ponta de San Lorenzo hike is so well constructed and defined. It's a fairly easy hike with moderate sections of elevation where the built-in steps are and we always had a guardrail to depend on in any trickier parts. Just over 7 kilometers round trip gets you to reach the very end of the mainland stretch overlooking the rest of the peninsula. After arriving to the final viewpoint at the end of the hike, you can stop at the cafe on the way back for a satisfying Portuguese meal amongst the palm trees. Throughout the entire trail, you'll come across different viewpoints on the north and the south sides of the peninsula. The colors and textures of the terrain are what captivated us. The green flatlands contrasted with the red rocks and sand, the black sea cliffs and basalt stood out against the white sea foam and blue waters. We were completely enamored with Madeira by the end of our first hike on the island.
driving on these roads is not the easiest thing, but wow, like the views that you get on every single corner is just beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen valleys like this. Oh, it's just gorgeous and I can't wait to get over to this little old bridge and hopefully pop the drone up and get some amazing photos there. Good morning guys, it is of course another 5 a.m. wake up, a little sunrise mission. Right now we are at Pica de Cana, which is supposed to be a bit of an underrated spot because you have a gorgeous cloud inversion and a really amazing sunrise. Now when we got here, it was actually quite busy already and we're still about half an hour away from officially being sunrise. Almost an hour actually. Almost an hour? Yeah. Oh. It's almost an hour before the sun will actually come up, but we're hoping to catch some amazing views. And on the drive here, there were so many little bunnies. So many, and they're like the little ones. They're not hares, they're tiny like domestic mm -hmm. bunnies. Yeah. They're just scattered everywhere. And there were so many times where we would almost hit them and they would just be like <laughs> zigzagging across the road. It's like, just pick a side, pick a side. Yeah, it was really cute. It was, uh, I think it's a really beautiful drive, but of course in the dark we couldn't really see much. But yeah, I know we're just really excited to spend a morning out here and hopefully catch some amazing views. And that sunrise is gonna be crazy over the clouds. Yes, so let's go see this. It was like a dream being able to see that cloud inversion and the valley in between. You can actually see a little bit of the ocean from here as well. And it lasted so long. It wasn't just like a brief moment. The clouds are actually still here and are going to be here to stay for a while. But the clouds are still there. It's still so full. It's almost as if it never changed at all, even with the rising sun. Because generally as it heats up, the clouds rise and this kind of inversion sort of goes away but this is a fantastic spot. It's so nice and quiet this morning and we're so glad we made it out here. From the viewing platform at Vica de Cana, we saw the cloud inversion over the north side of the island, right over the ocean. But we popped up the drone and we saw it everywhere, didn't we? Yeah, it's actually a 360 degrees of cloud inversion that completely surrounds us. We were definitely surprised to see that because we thought it was just over the ocean. But nope, it's literally all around us. Beautiful. They're so cute, right along the rail, there are all these shoes with pots of flowers in them. I wonder who put them here. I think it must be the locals, but every pot of flower has something different. Like these ones don't have flowers. They're like some type of herb or something. And it's like in a high heel and there's a converse. And then they also have like Nike shoes over here. It's 
pretty cool. Every few minutes we're driving and we see a landscape that changes from the last. Right now we see these awesome structures jutting out of the water right along the coast. They're called Ilieuge and they all have different names. One of them is called Ilieuge de Janela to represent the town that it's adjacent to. It's such a nice and quiet afternoon here at our Airbnb. We're just relaxing in the backyard right now, taking in these beautiful ocean views while we have some watermelon. Um, we're not sure how you guys eat our watermelon. This might be a little bit weird, but we usually like it where we just cut it, take a spoon, and we just dig in this way. We're staying in the town of Kanyash. Is that how you pronounce it? Kanyash, yeah. which is about 20 to 30 minutes away from the main city of Funchal, where probably 80% of people are going to stay. Now, we decided to stay in this little town because for us, we generally like to get up around 5 in the morning and head over to those beautiful views that you guys have been seeing. And it was a lot nicer to be a little bit more central on the island, so it's a little bit closer getting to all these different viewpoints. Also, evading traffic is a huge bonus. We're staying high up on this hill in this tiny village parish, and the view that we get of the ocean is completely unobstructed. It's good to see a little bit of the town as well. Every single part of this island offers something entirely different from the last. Really hope you enjoyed this first part of our Madeira adventures. There is so much more to come, so much more to see, and we hope you guys will come along for the ride.